another day of retro gaming. Is Lewis back from more punishment, Lizzie? After getting his butt kicked yesterday by Nanny and you? He's not letting me play it. Why? Oh. Alright, anyway, guys, yes, hello. Welcome back to the vlog once again. Can you turn it down a second, please? Today is now Monday. The other day it was there. The yeah, episode of Vlog Mystery. Mum and Dad were here. Had Sunday dinner. Played some games. Played Jumanji. Uh, the board game. Had a really good Sunday. I'll link that photos in the description below. But I guess, guys, we're starting off this vlog very, very late today. When I say late, it is half five at night. Now, um, I did say yesterday, I mean, I got a vlog done late. I'm starting to get this vlog done now. It's been a busy old day today. Lewis was at school today. He finished early. Oh, lovely. Um, Lewis was at school till 12 today. Um, he was off tomorrow. Brooke was off tomorrow and today as well. But then Lewis' school just announced today that they are closed on Wednesday as well. So Lewis is now officially off for two days. On our two days. Um, so yeah, guys. It's Monday. Hello. Hope you're all doing well out there. I want to apologise for the vlogs being very late going out. It's just been chaotic over the last few days. So it has, so I'm hopefully trying to get the vlogs back up to scratch again. But you seen there a few seconds ago. The kids are sitting here I playing some I retro games. Yeah, but there's still one more round. I'm going to be arguing for Street Fighter. Watch this. Who's who? I'm the girl, obviously. You're Chung Lee? Yeah. He's Bob. Bob Balrog. I can't remember his pronoun. Or Bob Rue, sorry, his name was. Balrog, sorry, Balrog. Heads away. Keeps headbutting me. <laughs> Baldy's not really, yeah, but yeah, I'm happy enough. You're not really rude, because he can't, he can't let go of me. He's beat your ass again. <laughs> what do you mean again? This is the first time he's won against you. Yeah, he, he beat you in the last round, did he not? No. Yep, he won. What are you doing to us? I didn't talk to Faye. Well, he did that. No, I didn't. Oh, jeez, here we go, they're fighting. <laughs> as long as you're not fighting in real life, physically, it's all right. I can't even fight. Disasters. For you wrestling fans out there today, by the way, happy 316 day. So it's, who's, who's, who's the, uh, None of us. who's blanket, nobody? Who's the boxer, Lewis? Yeah, he couldn't quit me. Oh, I don't know. Um, happy 316 day today, guys. Austin's on Raw tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. They're going to set up tonight and watch Raw because there's no school runs to do tomorrow, so I'll we'll have a bit of a late one tonight, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all doing well there, guys. We are just going to sit here tonight and play some retro games and chill out and do not very much, so if the vlog doesn't consist very much today, I do apologise. So, um, yeah, it's just been one of those days today, so it has. He looks like Mike Tyson, a very young Mike Tyson, with a weird haircut. Anyway, way on here, let them play some of the games here. I'll check in with later on whether they're playing more games, so uh, let's get this Monday's vlog started. They took themselves now into the kitchen to play Monopoly. It's like I don't look just tonight, but here's a good thing. A friend of mine, uh, Joe, or Joseph, who was called himself, has just contacted me on Facebook or to let me know, actually reminded me that Wrestle Talk in the UK we're doing supposed to do a wrestling show tonight, um, but they're still doing the show um, in front of a empty arena like WWE did last week, and it's now live on YouTube. So I've got a bit of wrestling to watch here where the kiddies are ignoring me playing games. So for play these guys, these are it's called uh, I don't really want to repeat the word, but it's um, the show is called. I'll tell you the full description of the call now. It's called. No, showcase Wrestle Talk Showcase presents No Fans Monday. Uh, F <laughs> coronavirus or screw coronavirus or F coronavirus, whatever it is. So, fair play to them, you know, they're doing a, a show for the fans. And at the minute, there's around about hmm, nearly 10,000 people watching it on YouTube. So, fair enough, we'll have we'll watch it there. I won't take in here and show you these two. Unbelievable. So, they are, they're mustard. Can I give you hey. your free card for free? Hey. Mm, no, I told you about that show that was on. I'll give you pay more. You never gonna watch it? No. Or they even exist today. And I'm just trying to focus on this stuff. This is this is some. I'll give you. I'll give you intense. I'll give you station. This is intense <laughs> business dealing. I'll yes, Liverpool. They are full of no, nonsense. It's Liverpool. Monopoly. No. Nope. Okay, then King Cross. King Cross. Just you know King Cross. Can I give us? I asked you a question. What? There's a wrestling show on YouTube live. Wrestle talk show on live in an empty arena. I heard it called. What was it called? Um, it was finally called. F the coronavirus. No, yeah. Bad language. F the coronavirus, <laughs> but then it said um, it was like empty fans Monday or something. Yeah, yeah, showcase Monday. It's called showcase Monday. So, am I being ignored today, or what's happening there? 
Um, hold on. I'll, I want to buy. Uh, can I buy this? No, I can't. Not yet. Ooh, he's, he's went to jail a few times. Oh. Not he didn't pay. He didn't pay his rent, so he had to go to jail. Sent them to jail. I'm just being ignored again. Can I have? Poor dad's being kicked to the curb. My mortgage. Dad, you need to pay mortgage in this. I give up. I get little on the night, guys. Just turn the TV down a bit here. Brooks took herself to bed. This one's lying over here. He's waiting for Monday Night Raw to come on because he's going to be watching Monday Night Raw with me. Um, so we're going to pause this here. Um, we're just sitting here watching some WWF from back in the day. Um, what are you doing over there? It's myself. You fleas? <laughs> Brooks, Brooks just took herself upstairs out of bed. Let's see if she's still back. Brick! Brick! Come here. Can I ask you a question? What? Is it all serious with them? What would you be doing if I hadn't called you? Trying to get ready for bed. Oh, I thought you were in bed. No, I'm, I'm like getting my room clean so I can get into bed if that makes sense. Everything's on my bed right now, so. Okay. Do you fancy getting football before what's raw? Yeah. Okay, well you can set it up. You can put it on the fire sticker. Me and Lewis were playing a game earlier on that I used to play in the arcade years ago called, what was it called again? Uh, my god, the name of it's just running in my head. What was oh. the name of that game? Football Champ. Football Champ, that's the one. I used to play it when I lived in Belfast as a young boy, and I also used to play it down at the arcades in the early 90s when they were in Bangor. We used to have, still had the the, uh, the bowling alleys and all the time, and the Mowgli's Gym and all these, like we arcade area. I used to go in and like put, I think it was 50p or something, or 30p a game, and uh, I used to play it all the time. But this wee thing we have on our fire stick here. You have a fire stick, guys. Go on the internet and look for a thing called Happy Chick, and it downloads all the retro games onto your onto your fire stick. A friend of mine told me about it, and you can end up connecting your PlayStation or Xbox controller, or if you have an Amazon Fire game in remote, you can do that there, and you can play all your old games. Yeah, you, you can. Yeah, you can get a game remote for the fire stick. Yeah, so it's just, just doesn't doesn't the fire the play at the store give you games you can download? So you need a controller to play with. No, with an actual controller that Amazon sells you to play games with. Ah, good. Have fun. Have fun oh, we will. We're gonna have fun watching Raw tonight because Stone Cold's on Raw tonight. <laughs> no one's in the crowd. I know, empty arena tonight, guys, because of this whole coronavirus thing. They done SmackDown last Friday night uh, in an empty arena and there'll be training performance center now that they do Raw tonight. Here's this app here, guys, I was telling you about. Look, keep it on there, Liz. This is the app here, which you can scroll through. And where's our games? There we are. There's some of the games we have at the minute now. There's obviously loads more. Um, football Echo champ. Dolphin. Yeah, Burke was playing Echo with the Dolphin earlier on. That was quite fun. So it was. We're playing Street Fighter. Fighter. Uh, first, first yep, play Escape. I was playing. Put that on. Show everybody the game. Yep, they set the control. Just playing anyway. Show everybody was like, we'll set the control up in a second. This is the game, guys. I used to play in the arcade. Is the volume down? I'll turn it up. You see. I used to play this when I was a young boy in the arcades. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh, here's a wee clip of it, guys. Here, look. I used to play this in the arcade when I was a young boy. And here's the thing, though. You used to beat the crap. It was like one of those games you just beat the crap out of each other, look. You could, like drop kick them and like elbow them in the face and punch them in the face. And it's just so much fun. Oh, there's a referee even got busted, look. Let me see, here we go. Is he going to score? No. <laughs> it is so much fun to play, and Lewis has got really into it, which is kind of weird, because Lewis is more into playing your nine days games, like FIFA and Pro Evo. Football and all. champ! Yeah. But, uh, no. Should I set the controllers up? This is what we sang, the Super Sunny goals here to show everybody what like when they score. When they score, they go mad. Here we go. You see? Ah, oh, I'm not going to show any. But there you are, guys. Yeah, happy check on the fire stick. It's a great thing to get. Um, as far as I know, is it a Japanese app, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. What's the, what's the website for? Just search Google Happy Check um, for the fire stick, and it'll tell you how to download it. It's really, really easy to do it. You can do it through the uh, the downloader app on the fire stick, so you can. So if you've any kids out there or anybody young ones that are like playing games, want to go back and play retro, I mean, you can play like Sonic and Mario and all the Nintendo sixty four games, Mega Drive, Master System, PlayStation One. I think there's a couple of PlayStation Two games in there as well. You know, you have all these loads of games from back in the day. You know, and it's just the old Nintendo, Nintendo sixty four. 
you know, original Xbox games. It's just brilliant. It's a brilliant app to have. So it is. Lewis is just setting the controllers up here now. So he is. He's over there, Mr. High Tech Wizard Kid. I think it's Dad's dad likes ten mil things they got to go to the There we go, he's looking at some just setting the controller up button for button how to set it up. So yeah, you ever get a chance, get happy check, because some of the games you can get is just amazing. So it is I want to go over here and have a wee game as well Lewis. So I'll check in me shortly guys. Um to end this vlog and we're having very much in the vlog today apart from us just playing retro games. <sighs> but the, do you always play Monopoly for a little? About two, two and a half hours maybe. Madness. Right, I'm gonna go and play some football champ. Football champ! <laughs> See you shortly, guys. Guys, just got some really sad news there. Well, when I say sad news, is a big wrestling fan. Um, WrestleMania, as you know, is around the corner. It's from this TV time, yeah. Um, we're sitting here watching Monday Night Raw. It's just showing a few clips here from the Raw Rumble last, last, or last January there. Um, Raw tonight is in the Performance Center, which is an empty arena because this whole coronavirus thing. WWE have just put it out on Twitter there and all their social media feeds and their website within the last hour that WrestleMania this year is still going ahead. There's a whole big debate of what's going on with WrestleMania this year because it's in Tampa Bay in a big uh, American football style stadium. Unfortunately, it will not take place in Tampa Bay. It will take place at the Performance Center. WrestleMania is not going to go ahead as normal and it's going to be in an empty arena well for what I've been reading it's going to be only certain personnel are going to be there because of this whole coronavirus thing I mean Wrestlemania is 36 years old I've been watching Wrestlemania since probably the beginning I've been to Wrestlemania's before um, we were going to plan to go to Wrestlemania this year but we decided not to we're definitely going next year though and the show of shows one of the biggest sporting events in the whole world, no matter what sport it is or event, this is one of the biggest sporting events or biggest events in entertainment around the world. And it's now being stopped. Well, not being, it's still going ahead, but behind closed doors. I mean, it's just, it doesn't seem right. This thing with the coronavirus just seems to be closing everything down. I mean, I was reading tonight there, apparently there's pubs down in the Republic of Ireland are all closing down now as well. The bars are closing down and it just like, what is going on with this world right now? This coronavirus thing, it just seems to be, everybody just seems wanting to lock down. It's getting to the point now where we're going to end up locking down as well. It's just insane. WrestleMania, it's just wow. I mean, I can't believe it. The biggest show of shows I mean it's one of the shows that I look forward to every year and a lot of my viewers out there are not wrestling fans and don't watch wrestling I've been watching wrestling since I was about what four or five years of age I've been to Wrestlemania's I've been to live events in WWE I've travelled to watch WWE you know want to I've travelled all over to watch and it's just it just doesn't seem right wrestle obviously the safety of people and they're you know they're, they're safety because this coronavirus thing and all is real important but it just doesn't seem right wrestlemania is not going to be in the stadium and it's not going to be a, a, like a crowd there and it's not going to be it's crazy i mean i've been to wrestlemania in big stadiums and i've been into in arenas as well and it's just a great thing you here on a wrestling fan people tune in to watch wrestlemania because they want to see who what celebrities are going to be on it that year or what big things are going to happen or it's crazy it's just absolutely crazy. WWE have released um, a statement. In fact, oh, I've got my phone on me. I'm just going to read it out to you there. Um, I, I just can't believe it. He's not happy with her either because he was looking forward to WrestleMania, aren't you? What do you think of it all? It's going to be in the Performance Center. If, if Coronavirus goes away in the next couple of weeks, it'll probably back into the stadium. I can't see it. Yeah, but Lewis, I can't see it because it's going to be going on for a while and... People think of all those people who've booked flights. You know, I know a friend of mine who goes been going to rest me for the last couple of years. He's booked flights and he's booked his tickets, and it's all just it's gone. You know. Is there not bird flu as well? Yeah, or today or something about bird flu again, but you don't know why it's true or not. So you hear all these rumors and stories. Let's confirmed. I don't know, but I don't know why it's true or not. But it could be. I don't know. But yeah, WrestleMania. Not good. Not good at all. What can we do? It's one of those things. 
But we're now sitting here watching. Well, they're showing, I think they're just killing a bit of time, guys, because obviously Raw's on for three hours every week, and I think they're just going to show this Royal Rumble match here in full. And then they're going to move on because we're waiting to see the likes of who's on Raw tonight. Steve Stone Austin. Cold's going to be on Raw tonight. Who else? Who, oh, Edge oh, is yeah, on her own. They're going to do like a promo in the ring. It was weird just seeing this empty arena. And then you see him looking at the camera. Yeah, there's going to be else to look at. <laughs> I know. But that, here's the thing, guys. Last week, NXT on Wednesday night had a, like, in the performance there. But there was a crowd there. Then on thir or Friday night, they had Smackdown there. And it was empty. Ooh. Oh, and there you are. They're doing an offer some t-shirts. <laughs> He's in the element there. Um, and then I had Raw, Raw tonight and empty. It's just seems to be everywhere is just locking down. It's crazy. Guys, I'm going to go here and watch this show with us here and try and step as late as we can because we've nowhere to go tomorrow. We've no schools tomorrow, so we're going to set up here and try and watch this. So, enjoy. So, if you enjoy this vlog today, guys, we're, we played some retro games. I didn't even miss this vlog today at all, guys. Um, WrestleMania announcement. Insane. And more. Drop a like on also subscribe below guys and until the uh till the next one tomorrow at some point I will see you all soon. Can't believe but WrestleMania in the performance center. On well at least the show's going ahead, which is the most important thing, but even and obviously everybody's safety is more important, but it just doesn't it doesn't seem right. Everything just seems to be closing down and all and it just doesn't seem right. WrestleMania without being there, it's just the way it is. I know. Yeah, a couple of weeks, three weeks time. Everybody's safety is more important. This is the bottom line, but it just doesn't seem right. Till tomorrow, guys. See you all soon. Thanks for watching.